Here is the original Venom Pool BAF. And here's the bootleg that I got from AliExpress, which simply comes in a plain plastic bag, something like this. And I'm going to share with you 18 differences between them. The first four are obvious differences whereby you can spot them just by looking at the pictures so that you know that it is a bootleg figure. And for the rest of the differences, will only be easier to compare if you have the figure in hand. The first obvious difference to spot the bootleg is that the buckle over here is painted silver. On the original, it is actually not painted as you can see in this promotional picture over here. The second difference is that on the original, you can't see the pack of the elbow joint so you can kind of see a hole over here. But for the bootleg version, you can actually see the packs almost coming out. Same goes for the other arms. Same goes for the inner side of the arms. For the third difference, you can see obvious lines going down the front of the knees of the bootleg. But on the original, you can barely see the lines. And it's even more obvious at the back of the bootleg knees. The lines is really obvious and on the original, you can barely see the lines. And the fourth obvious difference which would help you to spot the bootleg is that the thigh swivel joint has a gap on the bootleg version. Unlike the original which is quite seamless and there isn't any gap at all. For this bootleg that I got, I really can't close up the gap at all. From here onwards, the differences that I'm going to share with you guys will only be easier for you to check if you have the figure in hand. First off, is the paintwork. It's a bit difficult to see in the video, but the original has a matte finish on the red part. The bootleg however, has a glossy red finish and is slightly darker. It's really difficult to see in the video, but if you have the two figures in hand, you can tell that the red paintwork on the bootleg is more glossy. Next is the Deadpool logo on the belt. On the original, it is actually kind of shiny. Maybe a bit difficult for you to see in the video, but it is kind of shiny and chrome-ish. But for the bootleg version, it is actually just plain red. Here's a closer look at both of the belt. Shinier on the original. Next are the arms. For the arms on the original figure, you can actually detach it very easily. There. A bit difficult on this side, but still possible. But for the bootleg version, there's no way for you to open up the arms. In fact, if you keep pulling it, this is the part that's going to come off. And while we are on the arms, the original doesn't have anything on the inner side. But for the bootleg version, you can see the R and the L on the inner side of the arms. You can also see the pegs on the arms are slightly different. This is the original. It has a very clean cut to it. But for the bootleg version, it doesn't really have a clean cut. And it also has a slightly different shape. For the paintwork on the face, the paintwork of the teeth of the original is way better. You can see that the white on each of the teeth is painted really well. Both the top and the bottom parts of the teeth. But for the bootleg version, it isn't really painted that well. You can see that the white isn't painted completely on the teeth and you can see purple in between them. And also for mine, right at the front, you can see that this teeth is taller or higher than the other one. So the paintwork on the original is definitely better. And for the inner side of the head, the bootleg has this circular dot. The original does not have that. The overall quality of the head is also better. For the bootleg, the line is quite obviously seen. But on the original, it is less obvious. And also, the gap over here is slightly wider for the bootleg compared to the original. For the thigh joints, look at how clean the original one is. And you can also see the letter R and L on it. But for the bootleg version, it's really terrible. Look at the quality of the plastic. It's actually kind of darker red and it actually has the letter R on the left leg. On the inner side, you can really see that it is not really clean and the quality is really poor. 
here they are side by side and you can really see the bootleg is really lower in quality around the thigh area and for the thigh pegs you can see that the original is really good it's clean but for the bootleg version the quality is kind of really poor for the sword and the sheath it's quite difficult to tell them apart the sheath of the bootleg is glossy compared to the original which is more matte but it's difficult to tell them in pictures but if you have them in hand it's really obvious at the center part over here that it is matte and the scalp or the cut of this joint over here is quite clean for the original compared to the bootleg version which is really glossy and also you see the quality of the cut of the joint isn't that great same thing for the sword the handle of the original is matte but it is glossy for the bootleg very difficult to tell them apart from pictures but if you see at the bottom of the handle there is a line and for the original the line is right at the center but for the bootleg version the line is off center for the alternate hands and also for all of the hands of the bootleg you can really see the poor quality of the pack on the bootleg it's really kind of messed up compared to the original which is of course quite clean you can also see the circular part of the joint coming out from inside the hands compared to the original which does not come out here are the other hands you can see that the pack on the bootleg is really terrible same goes for the other hands as well of the bootleg and yes you can also see that on the bootleg the hand has a darker red and also more glossy compared to the original and finally last difference that i want to share is the articulation for the original the joints are all fine they rotate and hold the position well and there isn't any clicking sound at any of the joints except for the app crunch if i crunch it forward you can hear the clicks that's it only on the app crunch but for the bootleg version the joints are quite tight and for the right arm it's really tight and clicks when i move it hear that really really loud click and it's really tight and same goes for the legs if i were to move these two joints forward it makes the sound so the joints are actually quite tight but kind of a little bit too tight compared to the original and it really makes a lot of sound for this two thigh joint and also for the right arm for the left arm there isn't any sound the app crunch also makes the clicking sound as well so i've shared with you plenty of differences and ways that you can spot between the original and the bootleg i think this bootleg venom pool baf isn't as great compared to the bootleg monster venom baf that one is quite decent the quality on this venom pool bootleg however is really not that great and at the price point i feel that it is quite expensive even the monster venom bootleg which is of a better quality isn't that expensive it's like a good 20 dollars cheaper compared to this venom pool bootleg i definitely wouldn't recommend you getting it at the price point i really feel it's not really worth it to get this bootleg venom pool baf thanks for watching do check out my comparison between the bootleg movie venom and also the bootleg monster venom baf over here